Well, good evening. Um, I have been talking. Uh, I, I mentioned uh, some positive. I made separate videos as they. I felt they were warranted. One for the Knicks and one for the Rangers tonight. And uh, it's been a little bit since I've uploaded videos, so I figured why not? Let's go for three. Um, Want to give my uh, brief uh, summary on what the New York Jets have done in free agency for so far. Uh, a week or so ago, um, I gotta say. Um, before free agency started, I was, I was, I admit, I, I jumped the gun. I'm like, what's going on? They're, they're missing out on all these players. They're, they're Thuni, but I mean, as much as it was a lot of money, um, you know, Lindsay, uh, you know, they're, 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 uh, all these cornerbacks, all these receivers are flying off the board. Let's, what's going on here? Um, let's go. We need a lot of help. Uh, and, uh, and uh, and, and Salah's supposed to be a lot more, uh, making the Jets a lot more appealing than, 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 than Adam Gase and and I and I love Coach Sala. I love what he's bringing to the table. Um, even though the Jets themselves have to, um, you know, build um, build a culture, and then uh, the first thing I see was that we signed uh, Corey Davis and then we signed Carl Lawson. I'm like, okay, okay, couple of good signings, couple of a uh, couple of big signings. I, I like it, I like it, but there's still work to be done. Then afterward, we um, we sign a special teams guy, Hardy. Um, he plays with a high motor. You need that, especially on special teams. Sometimes you can win and lose games there. Uh, and, he, and he's depth in the secondary, so whatever. Not a bad signing. Um, you know, you uh, you you also um, then go out and add Lamarcus Joyner. Um, you had Sheldon Rankins. Um, you know, you're you're adding you're adding these pieces. And you had uh, Keelan Cole for offense. Um, I was hoping we were going to get Juju, but Keelan Cole, um, I admit, I, I've heard the name, but I didn't know much about him. I, I, I read up on him, and I actually think that was a good signing. So our, our receiving core, now we got a receiving core of Mims, Davis, Crowder, and Cole. Not bad. Not bad. That's not a bad receiving core. Um, and then um, on Sunday reading up, we signed Sheldon Rankins. Uh, defensive uh, tackle from the Saints, which I've heard when he's healthy, he's a good player. Um, Two-year deal, uh, but I, 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 they said he's he's a really good he's he's a pass rusher, and that should free up uh, Quinn and Williams. And obviously, Carl Lawson and Quinn and Williams are going to be a, a really good team. And then they go out and this week and make a couple of good veteran moves and sign um, Vinnie Curry and, uh, and 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 Tevin Coleman. Uh, Vinny Curry, another another depth piece, another pass rusher. Even though he's past his prime, he's thirty two, but still, um, he he should definitely bring a presence there, and that should you know help out everybody else. Uh, Franklin Myers, Williams, Lawson, like I said, Rankin, newly signed Rankins. Uh, so the D D line's actually pretty pretty damn solid, pretty damn solid. All of a sudden, like oh, they're putting together a nice D line. You know, they they got some pieces there, and then Tevin Coleman, uh, which Mike LaFour's offense, the West Coast offense, re relies on a rotational. Uh, system for running backs and plus uh, uh, the, uh, a superstar running back. I mean, we learned our lesson with Le'Veon Bell that that alone is not gonna not gonna propel you to um, to the next level. These aren't the days of Curtis Martin anymore for us Jet fans. I, w I admit I thought Le'Veon was gonna be bring to the table what Curtis Martin did, and I was just wrong. I mean, part of it was just maybe part of it was him, but a, a large part of it was still that that, that uh, moron Adam Gase. Um, ugh, ugh, I'm so glad he's gone. But all of a sudden, I, I think about, okay, the Jets were a little patient. They missed out on a couple players. Uh, they missed out on Keanu Neal. Um, they, they tried to get uh, Jackson the third, Thune, uh, Junu Smith. But those guys just got got paid a lot more money. Than the, and, and, the, and then the Jets were like, well, we got to divvy up the money elsewhere. I, I get it. I get it. Um, receiving core is nice. The D-line is nice. Uh you know, the safeties with Mark May signing the franchise tag and getting LaMarcus Joyner in here. Okay, okay. So there's some things coming, cooking here. And then uh, I like LaMichael Piran. I just think he was, he wasn't used properly because uh, Adam Gase used the old Frank Gore to the ground. I don't know what he was thinking there. Uh, last year should have been, he should have been getting the ball a lot more. So LaMichael Piran, Ty Johnson, Josh Adams, Tevin Coleman. Okay, it's, like I said, it got, the, these are the days where the offense is about rotational running backs. Um, to, you might be able to do something here, and uh, the, the tackles are fine, and even center. I think we could get, we can do do get by with McGovern for another year. Here's going into the draft. Um, it's clear the Jets have to draft offensive guards and cornerbacks. Those are by far the glaring weaknesses on the team. Um, will they bring in a veteran cornerback before the draft? 
I don't know at this point. Will they bring in a veteran guard before the draft? I don't know. Um, but we got the, the, the right now. Um, he shored up the uh, shored up the running back position. It, 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 nice to throw in a veteran there with the guys we have that knows the system. He shored up the receiving core. We got some some good pass rushers on the D line. So there's some things he he's he's got for us. And and uh, and and guys even who did come here said Sala was a big reason why. Uh, Corey Davis, Carl Lawson, Sheldon Rankins all mentioned Coach Sala is uh, what sold them to coming here. Other guys got paid more money to feel like, okay, well, you know, uh, Joe Thune got overpaid to go to Kansas City to play with Mahomes. I mean, I can't blame him. And Corey Lindsey uh, got paid a ton of money to uh, to go to the uh, the Chargers, I believe he went to, uh, to play with Justin Herbert. So I, I, I get it. I get it. And we still don't know... Um, about Sam Donald, or whether it's Sam Donald or Zach Wilson. Personally, I think we should, the more I think about it and the more I read up on it, we probably should just uh, stick with Sam and draft down and get more picks. I mean, can you imagine, like, that'll really accelerate our rebuild. Um, so, thinking about it, the Jets still have work to do. Um, they definitely still got work that needs to be done. Uh, the draft is coming up soon. Um I'm, I'm, I'm pumped for it. I want us to, the more I think about it, let's, if they stick, if they stick the draft on the quarterback, it's obviously going to be Zach Wilson. To me, it's either Zach Wilson or the more likely, what, what I think may help us in the long run. I know some fans are ready to move on from Sam. Why not give him one more shot and trade down and get picks, you know, and get more picks, um, you know, build up the old line, uh, get some help in the secondary, Heck, maybe even uh, Kyle Pitts might even be there if we draft down. Can you imagine if, uh, as a Jet fan, we have Sam Darnold really has no excuse. If he has Corey Lawson, I'm not Corey, uh, Corey Davis, um, Corey Davis, Denzel Mims, Jamison Crowder, um, uh, Keelan Cole, uh, and if they decide to keep Herndon, they have Curse Herndon and Kyle Pitts. I mean, that's that's those are weapons. And Sam Donald has no excuse. He just if if they draft guards and help him out in the interior, there you go. You got an offense, and it's up it's up to Sam to figure it out. Um, and and if he doesn't produce, then you know, like I said, then you move on. But um, give I'm I'm all for it. And then if you trade down, then you and supposedly there are good cornerbacks available later in the first round. Uh, there should be some guards available in the second and third round. So let's 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 do that. Um, I'd, I'd prefer to do that at this point. If we, I won't be upset if we tra uh, trade Donald and draft Zach Wilson at number two, but I think better better for the team is to try to give Sam another chance now that that idiot Gase is out of here. That buggy-eyed moron Adam Gase is out of here. Um, that clown. Uh, now that he now that he's out of here, um, and, and and you got a new coaching staff and you got some 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 uh, some pieces to work with, we'll roll with Sam. Let's see what he can do with it with a better co better coaching and and better team around him. We also need to get a backup quarterback. Uh, at this point, the slim pickings are slim. Uh, Nick Mullins, who I think we're going to end up with Nick Mullins as a backup because he knows the system. He's he's played there before in San Fran uh, for a backup. That's not horrible, but again, he, he's your backup, and your hope is you never he never plays. Um, there's also Chase Daniel, uh, maybe Jacksonville's uh, chair trading Gardner Minshew. Any one of those three, I prefer. Um, but we got to get the backup quarterback situation straightened out. That you got to get done in free agency. You can't wait till the draft, because I don't feel comfortable with James Morgan as our backup. So let's uh, let's hope Nick Mullins. We get him signed, uh, or like I said, Chase Daniel, or um, maybe we trade for Menchu because Beth Bethard went to Jacksonville and he's probably going to be backing up Trevor Lawrence. But um, anyways, uh, if all all we do is sign a, a backup quarterback and and leave everything else to the draft if we trade down uh, and keep Sam. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. But anyways, out of my thoughts and uh, looking forward to the draft and, and seeing what the final pieces are for the 2021 Jets. Um, have a good night.